Joining us now is Mary Marin. She is the president and COO of Butler Hospital. Mary, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. So tell us a little bit about what's happening uh, at Butler Hospital during the pandemic and how you've expanded offerings to include virtual offerings. Mm -hmm. Sure. We, because so many of our patients are you know, reluctant to go out and they're trying to adhere to the governor's uh, you know, request that we shelter in place, we, we've, we've stood up a virtual continuum. Quite frankly, everything that we offer on site, we now offer virtually. So uh, from our outpatient area to our intensive outpatient programs and partial hospital programs, there are virtual op options where you can actually participate from the comfort of your home, as long as you have some kind of device, be it an iPad, an iPhone, a computer, we can connect you to our therapists and to our physicians. And um, sorry. And um, with that, uh, have you participate as if you were here uh, with with our clinicians, which is ideal. And how are patients warming up to this? Actually, it looks like already for our adult cognitive behavioral therapy programs, we, are, we have filled our capacity and we're expanding uh, already to, uh, uh, you know, really accommodate more patients. So that's going quite well. Great. Tell us a little bit how you've added um, to your clinical triage pool to your 24-7 call center. So with, with the virus, of course, we don't want people to have to come into the hospital unnecessarily. So we, instead of what usually happens, which is many of our patients walk into our ED uh, for treatment, we're asking that you call first. And, and when you call now, we have clinicians available to help understand what your needs are and be sure that we connect you with the most appropriate service. That may not mean you have to come into our ED for evaluation. It may mean that we can give you a same day or a next day appointment, either virtually or here on site in a safe environment or that will refer you to one of our ambulatory programs that we just talked about, the partials, the intensive outpatient programs, uh, to be sure that whatever your needs are, will connect you as efficiently and safely as possible. And whenever possible, not have you come into the ED unless you really need to. Great, and tell me how Butler is preparing to expand its inpatient capacity. With the, with the statewide surge plan, which is really looking to expand the capacity of each of our medical surgical hospitals so that they can treat the individuals who are suffering from the COVID virus, we're really preparing to take all of the psychiatric admissions and transfer as many patients as possible out of the med surge hospitals where they have psychiatric care units. So with that, we have um, alternative sites here on campus that we're standing up so that we can really surge to 120%, maybe 150% of our capacity. So we'll be looking for those volunteers who can come here and be paid, but what work with us to take care of the patients that uh, will be well beyond our normal capacity. Mary, is there anything else that you'd like the public to know at this time? First, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell all of the, the folks who use our services that our staff stands ready to serve our patients who continue to have behavioral health needs. The fact that we have the COVID virus about doesn't change the fact that folks need psychiatric care. So we will continue to provide that care in whatever way possible to make sure that our patients get the high quality care that they always expect from our staff. And, and a big thank you to my staff for really stepping up and providing this care in, in a variety of ways, quite frankly. Mary Marin, President and COO of Butler Hospital, thank you so much for joining us today and for all the excellent information. Thanks so much, appreciate it.